Hey everybody, today I would like to, to talk about uh, emotional pain. So during our uh, uh, timeline, yes, in our life. Um, today I have had an interview about uh, quantum healing. I never uh, knew and I never have heard about uh, quantum healing in my life. So. It's something new uh, that I discovered today, and it's incredibly impressive. So this is a channel, The Bar of Your Mind, with Veronica Saban. And as I mentioned, it, so today uh, I want to talk with you about the emotional pain and how important it is to master your uh, emotions and to create balance yes, within yourself. Um, uh, the person who I have interviewed today is Madeleine from Sweden. And unfortunately, so the recording of, um, of the interview uh, went wrong. I don't know for which reason. So it, it uh, wasn't converted because of the uh, technical issues from Zoom. But anyway, so I'm here still to tell you how... Um, uh, was going and what has told me Madeleine about uh, her experience. Um, uh, Madeleine is a single mom. Uh, she has a son. She is living in Sweden. And I have I have uh, asked her uh, what is the reason that she became um, a quantum coach because she is a quantum coach and healer at the same time. Yeah. So if she uh, uh, is seeing something, then she knows exactly where do you have pain and she can heal you, yeah? And when I asked her what is the reason that she became so uh, a quantum healer, uh, she said that uh, she has experienced um, a, about five time, times so an uh, incident or accident, one, one time it was an incident and four time an accident. Uh, because she uh, she has or she has had at that time as well, so uh, a farm uh, and with horses. Uh, she said that she was fallen from, uh, from the horse and the another four horses. So uh, have been uh, walking so over here. So then you can imagine how the magic is that. And uh, the situation was so terrible that she uh, she couldn't walk, she couldn't move. So it, it's it, it's uh, incredible, yeah, and very painful. When she uh, told me that um, she has experienced so this uh, situation, I got, you know, the, the uh, cold railings under my skin. So it's like, wow, it's, it's, it's so scary. Anyway, so um, after this uh, five, five uh, uh, accidents, so she was looking, of course, for uh, medications, for um, solutions to, um, to recover herself and, in in Sweden, she um, she couldn't find it, so she has been in, in the hospital for for a long time, and she uh, doesn't found it. So the, the the right medication and the right doctors as well to heal her, yeah, to can uh, totally recover and to can walk. And she told that uh, she she meets someone who recommended to her to go to to, to the United States. And in, in the United States, she meets someone who was specialized in uh, um, uh, in quantum coaching, but uh, healing as well. So at the same time, because if someone uh, is a quantum coach. So this kind of coaches, they have as well, so the ability to heal or most of them, yeah. Uh, uh, I never knew that quantum healing is so powerful. Why? Because 
if we talk about a, a, a normal uh, treatment of our body, so it means that we have to get massages, therapies, we have to be present there in the hospital, yes, and to get physical treatments, right? Um, and by the um, quantum healing, uh, it's very different. It uh, uh, is requiring a different approach of healing. So it means that um, on on this stance, she said that by phone, so by uh, um, uh, Zoom to Zoom. Uh, so like me, I'm I'm always so I'm interviewing people through Zoom or uh, through Messenger by Facebook. She is. She uh, heals the people. It's unbelievable. So when I hear that, so I couldn't believe. But that's true. She said that she has healed about ten thousand people during eight years. Then you can imagine how impressive is that, and how impactful is that to heal about. 10,000 people within eight years. After she, uh, her recovery, so she creates the, uh, the ability, so she mastered the talent to heal so much people. It's in, imaginable. So I thought, oh my gosh, how is this possible? About 10,000 people. So I thought, oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, she told me that she has um, different uh, uh, social um, media online platforms where she is providing so the healing. And when when she is uh, uh, talking to you, she knows exactly uh, what kind of pain do you have in your body and where. So it's it's in unbelievable, yeah. But now I would like to to talk with you um, as well about the uh, our emotions and how do we create um, the body pain and the emotional pain and why we have to pay the maximal attention to don't get sick. To don't create any illnesses in our uh, body or men mental illnesses as well. Uh, so when we talk about uh, um, emotions and to overcome uh, mental and so um, body illnesses, so it means that um, so you have to learn how to. <laughs> Uh, control or how to manage your uh, mental energy first of all because everything starts there everything starts with your thoughts so it means that you you have to be very very attentive to pay close attention at your thoughts so be as much positive possible because on your thoughts depends so in your mental um so and body health why unconsciously if you are leading a lot of pain and if you are crying you are suffering a lot so you are creating this soul pain which is reflected later one on your body uh, this pain uh, called transform in in uh, muscle pain or that you cannot sleep, for example. And if you don't sleep, so it affects as well your men mental health. Yeah. And if you ever have got back pain, so that are signals that you are very very tired. Remember this. Yeah. Uh, or even um, body pain or hip age or heart age as well. So it's because you have had a lot of emotional pain. So, uh, and it's, you know, when uh, we will combine all these elements 
together. So it means that everything is about a personal development. And you can imagine how important is the personal development and how important it is to uh, know yourself very well. So to work at your personal development, to discover um, the functionality of your body, uh, the functionality of the functionality of your mind, of your of thing, of your way of thinking, and uh, of your emotions, of your soul. So it means that you have to take care of yourself. You have to learn to love yourself, and to don't uh, allow another people to hurt you. Uh, because uh, your uh, health depends on how much do you allow the people uh, to do uh, uh, bad things to you or how to treat you. And the way how uh, the people treat you is the way how do you self-teach them to, to treat you. So it's the way how do you allow to be treated. Remember this, yeah? Even if you don't realize the fact that it's happening uh, uh, in a kind of automation, because so when when you are talking, probably you you don't uh, realize that. But if you will start to work at your personal development, when you will uh, start uh, start to educate, so your mind, your feelings, your emotions, your thoughts. And when you will pay much more attention at your health body and that you will start to move uh, to meditate as well. So uh, another uh, excellent tip to uh, overcome the, the emotional frustration and pain is to, to take enough time for yourself and to, to meditate, to listen to uh, so quiet music which uh, will um, uh, help you to, to get quietness to create a soul balance and the mindset and, and personal development are the key to a happy life from all the point of views that's why I call so this channel the power of your mind uh, when you uh, will start to work at your personal development and when you will discover the truly power of your mind, of your soul and, or inner, then at that time you will realize how important it is to love yourself, but truly to learn to love yourself from the depth of your heart and to overcome, not to avoid, but to overcome the illnesses. Because there is a huge difference between overcoming and uh, uh, and to 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 don't allow that the things happen in that way that that they happen. Yeah, I think that it it makes huge sense. And you know, when we are experiencing a bad situation, for example, I will give you a, a, an example. For example, if you have experienced a divorce, yes, with your partner, and it uh, has been very, very, very uh, painful for you, um, and you, so you are keeping it so in 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 your mind in your soul so you you still feel pain and all this emotional pain is affecting the state of your mind your soul and body so it's called reflecting in, into muscle pain it's called reflecting uh, in in back pain but at the same time so um you could get as well uh, nightmares that you cannot sleep uh, uh or a lot of frustration that you you lose weight you you cannot uh get um a effective concentration as well so because when you are emotional you cannot grow as well so your business remember this um, if you uh, are not healed, if you still have emotional pain, soul pain, 
because of your bad experience, uh, it, it doesn't matter what kind of experience is, is that, but if you, you still have the, the heavy pain so in your soul, you cannot move forward because your focus is on the pain and not on transformation. That's why you have to, to be aware of your focus. Where do you put your focus on? Do you put your focus on changing your life, on, uh, on transformation, to work at yourself, to be happy? Or you want to, to be there where you are at this moment? And that's why the, you know, the 90% of the successful people, if they have experienced a divorce or if they uh, have lost a child or the partner, they get broken uh, from, uh, from the mental and spiritual point of view. So bec um, because of the pain, um, often uh, the people, um, they are uh, uh, losing as well, so a lot of money. So the, um, because, because the the get so the the frustration, the demotivation, and the emotional irritation, yeah, and that's very normal, you know. Not for nothing is um, is said that uh, a woman is the power of a man. Why? Because from the emotional point of it, they are fulfilling each other. They are completing each other. Yeah. And so that's the nature, uh, that's the, the, the law of the nature so that a man and a woman, they need each other to support each other, to grow together, so to give love to each other. And, and that's uh, uh, why um, a, a woman is so important in the life of a man and to the opposite and why a man is so important in the life of, of a woman. Because you get when the relationship is beautiful and when you work at the uh, relationship, so you get a very, very beautiful energy in, in your um, relationship. Um, and when you get beautiful relationship and beautiful energy, positive energy and vibes, and you, you, you are contributing to the growth of each other, so you uh, are creating at the same time health and health. Yeah, I think that it makes huge sense. So it means that you are creating as well so an emotional balance, but as well uh, a body health and mental and soul health. So when you are in balance and when you are happy, so with the things that you have created in your life, with your finances, with your work, so with your relationship, with your... Um, uh, transformation or personal development it will be everything here yeah? or relationships with your friends with your environment so it gives you emotional balance uh, and it so um, when when you are positive it, uh, it prevents uh, you to 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 get sick and uh, take taking consideration so what i'm saying because this is very very important if you uh, don't take accountability so uh, in your life to, uh, to be happy, to create a beautiful and healthy relationship, then it will affect uh, all the area of your life, yeah? And that's the reason why a lot of people, they cannot succeed or in, in their business uh, and in their personal development as well. And um, why that's the reason why they cannot grow financially. But but uh, a lot of people they they are not aware so of this uh, a, a type of development of the uh, uh, of the um, emotional development um, because they uh, never experience. But if you uh, don't read books if you are not in in touch so with another coaches or with mentors uh, then you cannot now uh, if you cannot uh, know that that's why you need a coach that 
that's the reason why you need a, a, a mentor who can lead you so uh, to towards the happiness and who will help you to create uh, a stable and quiet lifestyle. And so um, I want to thank you for watching this video. I think that this video is very, very useful and will help you a lot uh, to transform your life. And uh, I think it will help you to reflect on your situation. Uh, don't forget to uh, like and to subscribe to my channel and I see you soon. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.